Shalom. I'm going to start by first and foremost giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto the Heavenly Father, the Most High, and the name is only begotten Son, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and in the Holy Spirit in which we come, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, who well, and as always, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And this lesson is inspired by a back and forth that I had with our our arch nemesis, all right, the 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 one and only Haman, the Agagite, reincarnated vocab <laughs> Malone, all right, and uh, apparently he got triggered by the lesson that I did, which was actually in response to Elder Apostle Gabar's video, which he was actually responding to uh, vocab's lack of understanding of of the scriptures. And uh, the topic of First John five and seven came up, so in my lesson I actually uh, went into it myself and showed that that passage, or was not considered uh, scripture in, in in its early manuscripts, where they try to insinuate where it insinuates that the Father, the Holy Spirit, and 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 uh, Yahweh Shai is all one. All right, now do they work in unison? Yeah. But are they the same person? No, they're not. Okay. As a matter of fact, the spirit that they try to personify is not actually a person. It's a spirit. It's matter. It's energy that comes from the Father. Okay. The, that 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 uh, entity does not act on its own. It does not have its own conscience. It's specifically the the presence and power of of the of of, of the Lord, the Heavenly Father. That he sends upon his his people, that he sends upon his saints, that he sent upon his son to preach the gospel, to 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 heal, to 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 do miracles. All right, and that's what these uh, pagans don't understand. They want they they, they turned it into a a, a a a three God concept: God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. That's not supported by the scriptures. So as you can see, you know, Haman got triggered and we had a little back and forth on the comment board and I, and I got tired of going back and forth with him. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to address him in a video and he can do whatever he want. He could take this after I do this and, and do what he want with it, you know, but, you know, I'm not going to go uh, back and forth with him forever because you're not going to convince me and I know I'm not going to convince you because you're you're like the deaf adder that stop of his ear. All right, go read Psalms uh, 58, all right? But anyway, so we had this discussion. I'm not going to read the whole discussion, but y'all can, uh, if y'all want to click on this video, y'all can go and see what was, you know, being said between us. And I feel like, I was like, damn, I'm I'm battling the devil right now, <laughs> you know? Because it, it does say the devils believe in, in, in tremble, so the devil knows scriptures too. Yeah, I wish I was conversing with the devil on, on, on the uh, mountaintop. But anyway, so and you can see here, you know, he he listed 39 scriptures or verses that most Christians like to use to support their claims, which, uh, you know, I went through them and I read them and I didn't see any uh, correlation with the Trinity at all. Now, there's moments where it mentions all three in a particular verse, but it's still not describing them being one and the same or one person. OK. So, you know, and then he claimed when I responded to him that I ignored it. I I, I know these scriptures. Some of these scriptures I, I, I can actually use back against you, showing you that you devils, you like to uh, handle the word of the Lord deceitfully. You know, you mishandle the scriptures. You do not understand these scriptures. You do. You do err, not understanding or knowing the scriptures, man. You need to give it up. All right. He posted these list of scriptures and said, you know, <laughs> study these verses without GMS uh, glasses on and watch what happens. You know, trying to be a, 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 a dickhead. And I responded, I said, am I going to find three entities being one and the same in all these verses? I said, I study with the lens of the spirit, which is better than with the lens of a theological seminary. First Corinthians one and two. You know, because our, our wisdom don't lie. Our it, it don't come by the wisdom of man. 
all right, or, or the wisdom of this world. It comes by way of the spirit. That's how we get understanding. All right, let me let me get a uh, Job real quick. Which that that spirit comes from the heavenly Father Himself. It's a part. It's a part of Him. Job thirty-two and eight. It says, "But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding." And inspiration means uh, inspire means to breathe or breath. So the Lord, you know, He gives us His energy, His 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 uh, spirit. And that spirit is what comes over us and gives us understanding. And now we have access to that spirit by way of his only begotten son. Okay. Uh, well, let's jump down to uh, Job 32. In uh, 18, it says, for I am full of matter. All right. But they try to say that the spirit is a actual person. It says, for I am, a, I am full of matter, the spirit within me constraint of me he's saying basically i'm full of utterance so the spirit is uh is on me to, to to utter you see showing you that the spirit is a spirit all right so anyway you know i try to deitize the, uh, the holy spirit and saying that that's god come on man there's nowhere in the scriptures do any of the uh the prophets, the law, none of them, the apostles, none of them are, are praying to or worshiping uh, the Holy Spirit. Now we come in in in, in the um, we come in the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Shai said, "Let's go to Matthew twenty-eight, which that was on his list." <clears throat> Matthew twenty-eight and eighteen it says, "And Yahweh Shai can." This is after his uh, resurrection, right? And he came back to them for uh, 40 days. This is right before he was getting ready to uh, ascend back to uh, the Father. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto him, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So the Lord granted that authority to him after he completed the mission. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them, all right, cleaning, cl cleansing them, sanctifying them in the name of the Father. Our Yahweh, the Most High, and of the Son, because we can't get to the Father but by the Son, right? And of the Holy Ghost. So, and Yahweh Shai said that once he departed, that he was going to send the Holy Spirit, which comes from the Father. The Holy Spirit was going to come upon those men, and they were going to have the utterance. They were going to speak in tongues and, and reach them with the gospel. And they were going to also have the power to heal and do perform miracles. But how is this uh, uh, describing a, a trinity? Come on, man. Teaching them up to observe all things whatsoever, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world a month. Yeah, it mentions all three of them. But it's not saying that they all are God. That's not what that's saying. All right. You, we come in the name of the Father. In the name of his only begotten son, because we can't go straight to the Father. Where there's one mediator. And that's our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right. That's just how it's set up now. And of the Holy Ghost. Which he said that he would send to us from the Father. They try to make the Holy Spirit a distinct uh, 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 God, you know, separate from, like, come on, man. How do, how do you make the Holy Spirit God? All right. And, and, and pretty much that's, you know, what they teach. They teach is that those three entities are co-equal, <laughs> you know. One of the tenets of Trinity is that they are all co-equal. Well, how is that so? And that's why I, uh, I posted up. I think I might have posted it up above. Yeah. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. All right. The, 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 the prophets. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. 
And this guy, you know, he proceeded to post these scriptures. And then he also was trying to uh, say that the early church fathers or the early believers of the Most High, they, they believed in that concept and, and taught it. But let's not act like uh, a, a Apostle Paul didn't give the warning that in the latter days that, you know, there would be men who would depart from, from the uh, faith, giving heed to uh, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. All right. That there would be um, false teachers that would bring in damnable heresies. That was all going on. And that's why those councils were had. And they incorporated pagan uh, uh, concepts and ideologies into the doctrine. That's what the Nicene Council was all about. You see? So there was there was division because certain individuals that was allowing Satan to seduce them. So just because you had early believers, you know, back then that may have believed in that concept or started to uh, 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 entertain that concept, that don't mean that that's doctrine. All right. And then. uh. So that's why he said God's people believe God was triune way before the first seminary. Why? Because it's obviously biblical. No, it ain't biblical, man. And I'm, and I'm going to show that. As early as 212 AD, the African Christian Tertullian used the word uh, Trinitas, which I actually responded to him. All right. The actual quote from Tertullian. All right. He, he didn't uh, uh, teach that. Yeah, he used that term, but you misrepresent what he was actually uh, teaching. OK, this is this is actually a quote from him. And you can actually go and look this up. It says, and this is what he say, uh, stated, thus the Father is distinct from the Son, being greater than the Son. But I thought in order for you to believe in the, uh, the Trinitary doctrine, you have to believe that they're co-equal. Why is he saying that not only are they distinct, but one is greater than the other? And I would have to agree with that because the scripture even, Yahweh Shai even say so. Let's go to John. 14 and 28 which you know he actually uh when you go back to the 39 that he listed he he actually uh listed john 14 16 through 17 which we know this is talking about the the, the comforter which is the holy spirit that comes from the father which is not a, a actual uh person it's a spirit that that the father sends which is a part of himself. And then he posted a uh, verse 26, but notice he didn't post the 28th verse. John 14 and 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And like I said, it's a spirit. Now, the 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 the, uh, the translation, all right, uses, uh personifies it and, and, and says, basically uses he implying that it's a person but really when you look up the word it can mean he it can mean she it can mean it all right it's a spirit so you can really replace that he with it okay it shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you will rejoice because I said I go unto the Father. He going to himself? He's the Father? No. He's the Son. But, oh, well, no, he's, no, of course he's not, uh, the Son is not the Father, but they both are God. What? That's that's mad. That's confusion. All right. It says, I go into the father for my father is greater than I. OK, so he even acknowledges that the Lord himself, Yahweh, who they call Jesus, he agrees that the father is greater than himself. So he's 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 not even agreeing with you Trinitarians that they're co-equal. How could you be? How could you be equal? And greater than at the same time. 
Come on, man. And then when you go into the law, let's go to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Because to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. We know the light ain't with you, vocab. All right, this is in the law. Do you agree with this? Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Do you agree with that? See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. He's saying that there is no other God you can say uh, exist, exist equally with me. All right. He says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. There is no, there is, neither is there any other, it's like you, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. And guess what? You know, he's he's the he's the God of spirits. He's the God of gods and Lord of lords, man. So any other uh, God or deity out there do not compare to him. Because all things come from out of him. That's why he can even claim, even though when you go back to the beginning in Genesis, the first chapter where it says, and, and God made the heaven, created the heavens and the earth. And we know that that word is plural is uh, Allah Hayim. All right. And that's another uh, scripture that they'll try to use to say, oh, see, the Trinity. It was the, 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 the God, the Father, God, the Son, and, and, and God, the Spirit, and they created the heavens and the earth. That's not what that's saying. Because that word, Allah can also apply to uh, angels, judges, divine ones, rulers, kings. There's a law that says revile not the gods. It, it, it's talking about your rulers or your judges. OK, the Heavenly Father is is, is over all of that. So he can take he can make the claim that I, I, I made the heavens and the earth. I did it with my hands because all his creation is is, is uh, by him. So he can he can take uh, credit for it, but not that he literally did it himself, but he can take the credit for it. So you can say that. So you cannot uh, uh, make yourself equal. No, nothing in the heavens or on earth can make itself equal with the with the Father. Now, when Yahweh Shai, when he came on the scene and represented the Father by speaking some of the things that the Lord commanded him to speak, he came as a representative. It was like he made himself equal with the Father because the Father was speaking through him. So they took it as as blasphemy. Like, wait, you you're making yourself equal with the with with the Most High God. He came to, to, to be a representation of, of the Father. He said, all they that see me have seen the Father. But they're still distinct. They're still two separate entities. You're just going to have a hard time uh, uh, getting it because you're the wicked. As his ways are planted to the holy, so are they stumbling blocks to the wicked. So Rock 39 and 24. But let's get another one real quick. I'm still in the law. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, 4 and 35 and it says unto thee it was shewed it says unto thee it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord he is God there was none else beside him you see that did you agree with that let's go from there Go to Isaiah 45. So we just dealt with the law. Matter of fact, let me get one more. Let's 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 jump up. Actually, no. Let's go to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. And it says, Hear, O Israel, our Shemai Yashara, the Lord Yahweh, our power, Allah Hayanawa. Is one Yahweh, a Chud. All right, a Chud Yahweh, one Yahweh, man. There's nobody with him. There's nobody uh, uh, co-equal with him. 
and the and, and the powers, the angels, which Yahweh Shai is the chief of, of the angels, they're 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 beneath them. All right. Now, do they have some of his? Uh, they share part of his nature. Yeah, because we're his sons. All right. The angels are the sons. Yahweh Shai is the first begotten son. So of course we inherit the the uh, the nature of of the source that we come from. But that don't make us him. <laughs> but like I said, he, all this that I'm you know explaining and going into it, even proving with scriptures. This is going to go through one ear and out the other with this guy. His only concern is to try to snatch souls. All right. Because he 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 works in opposition. The Lord set him up. He's controlled opposition. You see? That's part of the, the devil's job is to snatch your souls, to overthrow your faith. Put you back, you know, put you back in a, a, a in mental uh slavery, put you back to sleep. Because this 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 truth is a threat to, to, to this this world, man. And he and, and I know he morals at how us being young men and you know having a knowledge of these things and able to uh combat with them like this and not and never having went to a uh a, a, a theologian seminary. You know, we didn't go to uh a, a Bible school and these theolog uh theological colleges and 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 do all this ample studying and, and read thousands upon thousands of books. And, and study and, and memorize all these fancy theological terminologies. All right. We didn't do none of these things, man. The spirit, you know, is 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 was was with us to learn these things, man. When we heard our elder apostles who are also in the Holy Spirit teaching. But when the apostles taught in the Holy Spirit, those who who received what the apostles were teaching. The spirit came upon them to receive what they were being taught. That's how they was able to receive it and be uh, converted. So anyway, oh, Shalakia, there was another scripture I was trying to, I was going to go to. Let's go to the, let's go to a uh, prophet Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah forty-five. And it says. Yeah, Isaiah 45, and uh, I'll start at 4, it says, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, uh, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. So that, that eliminates your uh, co-equal uh tenet of, of trinity making your your concept false because the, the prophets didn't uh ascribe to that all right uh, uh the priests none of them they didn't they didn't ascribe to that man that was a fo that's a foreign concept later down the line and that and that was adopted by the greeks the greeks took that concept from the ancient uh egyptians because that was a a, a, a mythological uh, concept by the Egyptians because they worshipped the sun. And they divided the, the sun god into uh, three entities, uh, uh, Horus, Ra, and Osiris, three uh, phases of the sun. Uh, when the sun rises, I, I think that was supposed to represent uh, um, Osiris, and then the midday sun represented Ra, and then the uh, uh the sundown uh, God represented uh, Horus. All right. Now, don't quote me on that. Y'all can actually go look this up. You know, I might have said it backwards, but that's what. But that's what the. That's how the Egyptians worship the sun in three phases. So the the sun, the, the Egyptian sun God was triune. So where you think the Greeks got that from? So you know, when it came down to the Nicene Council, uh, Council Constantine and those uh, uh, wicked church uh, uh, 
uh, church fathers, when they had that council, they incorporated that into the doctrine. So you you Christians have been deceived. This is why we we identify the, the Christian church and the Catholic church, which is all one and the same to us, as the false prophet spoken of in Revelation, man. All right. So anyway. I'll read it again. It says Isaiah 45 and 5. It says, I am the Lord. There is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird thee. Thou hast not known me. All right. So there it is in the Old Testament. You see? And then he even tried to go into um uh when it when it says in uh Genesis 1 and 26. And this is what it says, Genesis 1 and 26. And God said, all right, and this is uh Alahayim. Right? Alahayim. And it can actually mean it's is it's, it's it's a it's a poor way of saying Allah, which means God, judge, all right, rulers, divine ones, angels. All right, you had angels before the heavens and the earth were even formed. Did not the Lord uh, uh, speak about those being chosen before the foundation of the world? The first fruits, those first spirits? Because Yahweh Shai being the first begotten, the first spirit, then you had the other spirits that he made after him. And those were selected. And they were with them during, during his time. All right. But they all go back to the father. All right. Real quick, let me show you that it all uh, goes back to the father. Let's go to um, first Corinthians. First Corinthians eight. First Corinthians eight. And uh, I'm going to start at three. It says, but if any man love the most high, the same is known of him. And in the New Testament, this is why you got to be careful. Because if you don't look these words up, which it does that with a lot, that's why English is, is, a, is a bastard language, man. It, English, the English language is what makes understanding the Bible a stumbling block. If you don't actually go back to, you know, uh, the etymologies and the context. sometimes. Uh, uh, theos, which is the Greek word for God, theos, just like going back to the term of um, Alahayim, which is the Hebrew equivalent to uh, theos. Sometimes it can mean judge, it can mean ruler, it can mean uh, the Most High. All right, it can mean uh, it, can, it can mean all these things, man. But we know in this context, this is talking about the Most High. It says, but if any man love the Most High God, the Son, the same. Is known of them as concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered and sacrificed unto idols. We know that an idol is nothing in the world, and there is none other God but one. All right, and I've proved that even going back to the Old Testament. Apostle Paul, he's not uh, in a disagreement with the Old Testament. Christians like to make his writings as if he was at uh, 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 in opposition. To the old uh, covenant or the old testament no he he quoted from out of the law and the prophets he believed and taught out of the law and the prophets so you got to consider what was said in the old testament it says for though there be that are called gods whether in heaven or in earth as there be gods many and lords many see that Showing you that Allahayim, it proves that that definition that there are gods. He even said that we're gods. Talking about the children of of, of the Most High, the Israelites, we're we're gods. But he said that I have said that you are gods, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. All right. So we're gods, in, in trapped in these uh fleshly earthly uh, bodies, man, and we can die. But the Lord is going to change that when he comes back and changes us. We'll never die. It says, 
but to us there is but one God, the Father. Hmm. Where, where, where's uh the Holy Spirit at? Notice he doesn't list the Holy Spirit in here in here. Because they say the Holy Spirit is God too. It says, but to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him. All right, because we come from him. And one Lord, Yahushai Mashiach, by whom are all things, and we by him. Okay. So that's plain. So going back when it says, and Allah Hayyam said, let us make man in our image. Yeah, it's 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 plural. Because it wasn't just the father and the son present. You had uh, his angels that were present with him as well. Okay. And they said, let, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. All right. But we know that uh, they're not co-equal with the Heavenly Father. These these things were all made by the Father, man. Because it, it, it came out of him. So he begotten uh, uh, the powers. Which Yahweh Shai was the first of, of, of the powers. He was the first. He was the chief. He was the beginning. You see? So, this guy don't know what the hell he's talking about, man. All right? And then, you know, this was his last response. He said, my friend, Tert Tertullian's quote is literally a perfect description of the Trinity. No, it ain't. He actually, he went against the Trinity the moment he said that uh, the, the Father is greater than the Son. Y'all teach that they're co-equal in, 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 uh, in authority, uh, uh, you know. Rank, divinity. No, the, the the father is is the greatest. All right, three distinct persons, one being. No, it ain't. Frankly, you are rejecting something you don't understand. See, <laughs> and that's what they like to do, man. No, you you're confusing your own uh, uh madness, man. Woe to him that is wise in his own conceit. All right, you're 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 not correct. Now, let's show you that even Yahweh Shai looks at his father as his God. So if I'm if I'm going to be co-equal with something and co-eternal co with it, why? How is that my God? Because if 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 I if I make something my God, I'm saying that that entity is above me, is superior to me. It has a it has a, a, a authority over me. I'm su I'm subjecting myself to it. So how is that equality? Let's so let's prove it real quick. Let's go to John 20. I want to say around 17. Get this real quick. It is uh, John 20 and 17, and this is uh, Yahweh Shai uh, when he when he conversed with Mary, and this is when Mary. She actually seen Yahweh Shai after his uh, resurrection, right? It is what he told her. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Whoa. How, how, how does this fit in? with the concept of the trinity how is how is one of the gods of the triune saying that the other god is his god but they're supposed to be co-equal they they're supposed to exist together as god but he's saying no that's my he he's my god So when you break this down to its simplest logic, man, you'll see that these 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 people are are just filled with straight madness, man. They're they're totally bugged out. Vocab, you're a bug out, man. Like 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 what Agrippa said to uh 
like Agrippa said to Apostle Paul, much studying has has sure made thee mad. You know, you're 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 mad. Oh, and all these Christians, they're 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 totally nutcases, man. What the hell are y'all talking about? Let's let's get another one. Go to uh John and Revelator, uh, Revelation three and twelve. And it says, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, of my God. So this is, hold on. Let me red letter this so we know who's speaking here. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, the name of my God, right? And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Why? Because the elect are going to be uh, sealed with the name of the Father and his Son. All right, because we, like I, like I mentioned before, we cannot get to the Father but through the Son. All Apostle Paul said it. Uh, uh, every time we give thanks and, and praises, Anything that we do in word or deed, do all in the name of the uh, Yahweh Shai, the Son. All right. So, and and even going back to the beginning, uh, the the Father said that His name is in Him. Okay, but that's not saying that they're the same, that they're you know the same entity. No, they're still separate. They're still distinct. But Yahweh Shai, he he. He, he never uh, went against his father's commands. They were in agreement together. That's that's what he meant by when he said, I and my father are one. But he this that same in that same. Uh, no, it wasn't in that same chapter, but in, in the 17th chapter, he also said that his disciples is one in him as he also is one with the father. See. So is is the church part of this thing too? Why y'all never in, include that? And then it also uh, Apostle Paul also mentions them being a, a partakers of the divine uh, nature, with, which they call the, the the Godhead. So if they're partakers, that they if they have the same divine nature, just like the Lord, the the Father, the Holy Spirit, which comes upon them, are they part of that? triumphant or whatever that triune that you're speaking of it wouldn't be a, a, a try anymore it would be a quad at that point if we're going by your logic so this proves right here that Yahweh Shai has a God you see that so never did he ever try to put himself on the level of his of his father, man. But do he gets the praise and does he get worship? Yes, he does. Because the, the father set it up that way. He wants his son to receive the honor that he receives because of what he did. Now, dealing with the spirit now. If you notice, like all the different um epistles that uh Apostle Paul, you know, uh, wrote to the different churches he always started with a greeting right when he when he when he sent out his greets how many literal be beings were there let, let, let's let's uh let's let's deal with that real quick i'm gonna run through that and then i'm gonna close out let's go to romans uh one and we're gonna jump down to Verse 7, it says, To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from out from God our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay. Distinction. And notice the Holy Spirit isn't there. Because if the Holy Spirit was the third person, I'm pretty sure he would have greeted them and mentioned the Holy Spirit with them too but all you see is actually two persons here 
Okay, here's just one example. Let's go to First Corinthians, the first chapter. And it says, uh, Paul called it to be an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach through the will of the Most High, and Sosthenes, our brother, unto the church of the Most High power, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name Yahweh Shai power, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you, and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Where's not and from the Holy Spirit? Where, why ain't the Holy Spirit uh, mentioned? Why is it just two instead of three? You got to consider this. This is this is a good point. Let's go to the second epistle. Second Corinthians one, Paul, an apostle of Yahusha Mashiach, by the will of the Most High. And Timothy, our brother, unto the church of the Most High, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in Achaia. Grace be to you, and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Where is the Holy Spirit at? All right. And this is not to downplay the, the divine uh, entity of the Holy Spirit, because it's, it, it's part of the Heavenly Father. But notice it's not being mentioned because that's not a third person. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit, man. All right, let's go from there to uh, Galatians. Let's see if he actually, maybe he'll mention it to the, to the church in Galatians. He forgot to do it with the church of Rome and the church of uh, Corinth. So maybe the Galatians, he, he, he got it right. Galatians 1. And one, it says, Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, for, for uh, the Sakari, that try to downplay Apostle Paul. And God the Father, who raised him from the dead. So not even a, not even Yahweh Shai raised himself from the dead. But he's co-equal with, with the Heavenly Father. And all and all the brethren which are with me, unto the church of, churches of Galatia, Grace be to you and peace from the Most High, the Father, God the Father, and from our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Damn it. Forgot the Holy Spirit again. <laughs> now, I, I'm being facetious, but hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm making a solid point, man. Okay? Because we don't play with this, man. And we're serious. We're the, we're the real defenders for the gospel, not, not them fake uh, apologists. Okay, they're defenders of, of confusion, defenders of, of, of paganism, man. Let's go from there. And, may, and maybe, you know, the Church of Ephesians, maybe he greets them and, and mentions all three. Ephesians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach by the will of the Most High. To the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Amashiach Yahweh Shai. Grace be to you in peace from the Most High our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I still don't see the, the, the Spirit there. Why isn't he giving greetings from the Holy Spirit too? Because remember, the Holy Spirit is also the third person in that Trinity. Why is why is the Holy Spirit never giving greetings in, in, in peace to the church? <laughs> and I could just keep going, man. All right. I, I, I can I can go through the next epistles. Or I can go to uh the, the letters to Timothy. I can go to Titus. But you you'll see it's the same thing. It's just the father and the son, and they're two separate entities, and the son already distinguish himself from the father as the father being his God. So there is no co-equality there. All right. And there, and, and yes, the, uh, the, the, the son of the most High is eternal after his uh, resurrection. And he's always been here, but he actually had a beginning. 
the, the Heavenly Father is known as the Ancient of Days, so he never had a beginning. Okay? So before Yahweh Shai's spirit was even made, the Father still existed. So you can't, so that 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 cuts out both of those tenets, co-eternal co and co-equal. Um, uh, so the Trinity is not supported by scripture, as you can see. But you could try to twist and manipulate certain scriptures and 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 you believe in your own mind that that's what it's saying. But all these other scriptures don't counsel each other out. There's no uh, contradictions. So maybe it's because you read all 39 of those scriptures with 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 a, with a paganistic uh, 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 sensual eye. And, and not with the Holy Spirit. And that's why you believe this madness. And that's because I believe you're a heathen. That's why. Okay. You're a heathen, man. So, of course, you're going to, from, from the mindset of a heathen, because the heathens, they worship the concept of a, of a, 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 a three-God person. Okay. Oh, and let me get a, uh, since we're still in Ephesians, and I'm going to end off with it. And this is also on your list, by the way. All right, let's go to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. <laughs> and it says, there is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father, or God the Father of all, who is above all and through all. And in you all, where's the, where's the Trinity? All these different things are being listed and, and, and distinguished. Now, do they all work together? Yes, they do. Okay. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm. Pretty much at this point, because I know if I keep responding on here, you're going to keep going back and forth and, you know, you're going to use uh, circumlocution and, you know, you want to add your little theological mumble jumble and all that. You're not going to move me with that. All right. You can do what you want. You can do what you want after this, but you're not going to convince me, man. All right. Resist the devil and he shall flee. So, you know, and, there, and there's way more points that I can make, but I feel like I went long enough. I believe the point was already uh, uh, driven. OK, you, you there's no support of, of this concept. Nowhere in the scriptures, man, it's not supported. OK. So, you know, that, that that's pretty much it, man. All right. Oh, oh, and we do not worship the Holy Spirit. Notice how you can worship. The father and then you also can worship the son but there is nothing in the scriptures where any of the men none of the disciples none of the apostles none of the nobody worshiped the the, the the spirit the holy spirit vocab you worship the holy spirit anyway I'm going to end off with that, man. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who will well. And as always, peace and salutations to the elect. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.